What's going on guys, Appalachian Dweller here, and in today's video I'm going to be going on my normal lead run, which ends up resulting in about a thousand lead each time I perform this run successfully. So let's get straight to the video. So the first thing you're going to need is at least two pieces of escalator power armor, and those two pieces are going to be the left arm and right arm. And you might be wondering, why do I need the left arm and right arm? That is because they have a special feature. When they are used together in tandem, they increase your mining yield on ore. Now, you're thinking, well, ore ain't that important. Ore is very important, especially for what we're doing today. So, we're going to the Lucky Hole Mine, and inside the Lucky Hole Mine, there are tons and, I mean, tons of lead ore. So, luckily, we get to use the excavator power armor to its full potential here. So, I'm going to show you where the Lucky Hole Mine is. And if you get down here, you can see that the Lucky Hole Mine is west of Fort Defiance and north of the monorail elevator. Now, getting this location without having a fast travel point is kind of hard, but you can walk from the Cranberry Bog or anywhere around it. I usually walk from the monorail elevator, and that's usually what gets me there if I didn't discover the location, because it's just smack dab right by it. So if you haven't discovered the, the location, the elevator is a perfect place to go. So now that we're here, there's going to be a couple cultists, which is no big deal. I can clearly melt through them. Hopefully you can too. So... There's going to be a couple cultists, about three outside normally, which are you down really easy. Sometimes a Mothman could spawn, so if that's a daily challenge for you, it's a pretty good place to go. So inside the mine here, we're just going to go a little further and take out this guy here. And then we're going to sneak on up and... Oh, okay. He, uh, he seems to have his mind blown off his head. Which is no joke. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm bad with words, but you all get used to it. He is clearly not functioning properly. Alright, so now that we have successfully entered the mine, what we're going to want to do is get our escalator power armor out. Now, of course, me being stupid, I never have a core in it. Hopefully you all would and it would save time with doing all this. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to slowly start making our way into the mine. Now I'm going to go slow so you all can kind of get a feel where everything is. So you might want to check all these carts, but I don't. There's crystal in here and lead in here as well. Crystal looks like lead to me, so I kind of pick it up sometimes. But here is our first bit of lead in this little cart and the little kind of cubby hole as first as you enter on the left. So we're going to get down here to this little crossroad and we're going to take a right. Now, as soon as you come over this little hump, there's going to be three cultists, which I'm just going to go ahead and take out all of them in the area. I think in total there's like seven. So, go ahead and take these guys out. We're going to go to the left here, take out the ones over here. And there's going to be another cubby hole, and there's going to be two up inside it hiding. So, go ahead and take them out. So, I'm going to go back to where we started real quick, back up here, so I can kind of give you all a good view. <laughs> So now what we're going to, want to do is take a right. Now in this little cubby hole, there's also going to be lead ore. You're going to want to grab all of it. Now you're going to want to make sure you look around real good. Because every time I come in here, I usually forget one or two. And I've been doing this for probably two and a half years now. So you're going to want to make sure you always look around. Because something you see today might not be there tomorrow. It might Your eyes might play tricks on you. It does it to me. I forget all the time. After leaving the first cubby, we're going to go back towards the back of it, and you're going to find another cubby. It's also going to have lead ore in it. You're going to pick up everything in there and make sure you do a double check. I know I have to. And after double checking in here, whoop, see, told you, found one of them. <laughs> I'm not perfect, you know, nobody is. So now we're going to head back to where those guys were hiding up in that little tiny cubby hole to the left here. What's well, that? It's actually pretty big. There's also going to be one on the ceiling here, which is pretty rare because there's not many in the ceiling here. So this is like the first one you're going to find, and probably the last. So just keep that in mind. There's only going to be one on the ceiling, and that's right there. So, oop, I wasn't close enough. Crap. Okay. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to swing a left out of here. And then right here to this little totem, we're also going to want to swing a left. And down this little area, which I'll go ahead and speed up a little bit. There's nothing through here to pick up. So let's get down to the bottom here. There's going to be one more guy. He's kind of slouched over on the door. Not that big of a deal. I mm. guess that bowl caught my attention. Okay, now we're going to work down here. We're going to see a big old totem. Behind that totem, there's going to be some lead. 
Now we're going to walk into an area that has like a little pool in it. Now usually when I come in here, there's a couple enemies that come and they should be coming. They usually are. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my light. So you're going to find it around here. Go ahead and pick up all of it you can. Make sure you check the walls. It kind of blends in sometimes, which is hard, which is really easy to miss. There they are. Right on time. Okay. Is that it? Nope. One more coming. All right. Now back to what I was saying. So now there's going to be some more lead you got to pick up. So make sure you look around on here in this little pool area. And then once we get done with this, we can then get ready to go. Now we're going to be two paths. There's one to the left and one to the right. We're going to want to take the path that goes to the right here. Now see, that's crystal right there. All, right, all that's crystal. There, it looks kind of the same to lead and usually gets me off track, but it looks almost identical to me. So, oh, got some enemies coming in here. There should be maybe four or five coming from the other area in, in front of us here. Oop. And he messed up my vats. Man, I hate these people. All right. So this back here is crystal. There's going to be some lead. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, lead up here. There's some lead there. Oh, I get it? Oh, how rude. Gee, many Christmas. Alright, so now after killing the people that were trying to brutally attack us for stealing the lead, up oh, more crystal, we're gonna go into a little area where they worship. Ooh, okay, I thought I had them all, but I didn't. Alright, so once you come in here, you're gonna go by the altar and make a left, and there's gonna be at least, I think it's two, or three, that's uh, three veins of lead here. Go and grab all of them. Now, that's all for this room. Now, you're going to look towards these stairs. Now, there's going to be one path to the right, and up the stairs, you go to the right. Always go to the right. So, entering to the right here, we're going to walk down this little hallway. There's going to be some crystal and lead. But if you want to pick up both of them, go right ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the lead here. We'll keep walking. There's some more lead there, and more lead here. Now, it's, the hallway's kind of dotted with lead, but it don't go too awful far because the hallway loops around to just about the beginning so what I normally do is go right here to this little security gate with the cave it has cave crickets inside and I usually just turn around and go back now here comes the real special part where all the lead comes from you're gonna see this little hole entrance here it's kinda hard to see but it's gonna be right to the right when you enter this little hallway and when you enter here there's gonna be a ton of lead and I mean it is everywhere usually I always have to look backwards because I forget about it and a lot of it is on walls facing towards the area you're walking so you wouldn't really see it and I'll show you that in a second here but I just usually walk backwards for a good bit like right there I wouldn't see that walking normally I had to walk backwards for that one there so I'll keep on walking and we'll find more lead there's gonna be some on the side and I think there should be another one that's on the uh, side of the wall facing where I'm walking to but there's something more on the wall just here and there there it is it's here and there now it's really important that you kinda double check yourself because sometimes I miss things so I'm gonna keep on walking this way nothing's really here now after about halfway through there you're gonna get to the point where it's a dead zone where no more lead spawns I'm gonna walk back this way and see if I missed it oh, I think I missed one yep I sure did and so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check my lead ore I have 388 so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the camp and I will see you guys there momentarily. Alright, now that we're back at my camp, here's something important that you're going to have to have when you're doing these lead runs. And that is the park card of Super Duper and Luck. Now, what this does, the Tier 3 perk card of Super Duper makes it so where you have a 30% chance to double the output of whatever you're crafting. So we're going to go to the chemistry bench here. And we're going to go down to where it says smelting. Once we're down here, we're going to go to where it says lead scrap. And then we're going to get ready to smelt. Now, acid's important. I made an acid video. If you don't have much, go check that out. Now we're going to get ready to smelt my, my lead ore. Which I already had some, so I'm sorry for the mislead there. So, lead ore. Two lead ore makes five lead. So it's a pretty good payout in the end. So now after crafting... Ooh looks like I got my score up let's see what I got and I got the toasters alright All right. now back to the lead now I'm gonna go over here and scrap my lead 
Now, you probably would get 1,500. I think I had 90 already in my box, which I'm sorry for that. But I got 1,500 lead, so probably time to take that out. I probably got around 1,200 from this learn, which is pretty good, considering lead and how it used to be, which was going to gyms and stuff and scrapping the dumbbells, getting 90 apiece. So, with that being said, I'm now going to go ahead and start my outro, which I forgot to clip like an idiot. So you're going to see how I do it all the time. I just go into photo mode, come out here, and wait for my character to put down my fixer. Alright, now with that being said, if you all enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, consider sharing. And I will see you all next time where I am trying to open 24 mutated packs in a row because I have not slept for 20 some hours and I still have 4 more to go. So please leave a like, subscribe, and this was the Appalachian Dweller, and I will see you next time.